Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, we are going to understand how to create a new company and also enabling GST in Tally Prime. So right now, I am at Tally main page and also known as Gateway of Tally. So from Tally main page, just press Alt plus K in order to access company menu and just click on create and it will take you to the company profile where you need to write down your company name and address and confirmation of state pin code and all right so right now i'll be creating a new company in the name of cambridge solutions limited you can see right now prepare and maintain book of accounts in the name of cambridge solutions limited and this company used to deal in watches right so i'll be creating a new company by confirming the status telangana with the gst number as well right so here on the company profile now the system is giving you a chance to enter the name of the company so i will be writing the name of the company as cambridge solutions limited and here just confirm the address of the company And after confirming the address just press enter and here system is giving a chance to confirm the state and while creating a new company confirmation of state is most important because in tally application tally application compares your state with your counterparty states if both are same then system will understand it as it is a local transaction or intrastate transaction and system will be charging CGST, SGST. If the states are not getting matched, then again tally application is going to understand as it is a non-local or interstate transaction and calculating taxes as in the name of IGST. So confirmation of state is most important and also confirmation of PIN code is also important because the confirmation of PIN code is mandatory for generating a valid e bill. What is e bill? e bill stands for electronic bill is a permission to move the goods from our location to our customer location. e bill is a permission to move the goods from your location to your customer location. e bill is mandatory in the case when you are selling the goods which are having invoice value higher than 50,000 and the distance between you and your customer is more than 10 kilometers. Right. And for e bill there is a validity and that validity depends on number of kilometers and number of kilometers will be calculated approximately based on your PIN code and your, cost, and your counterparty PIN code. That's the reason confirmation of PIN code also is mandatory while creating a new company. Okay. So on the company profile just fill the profile and directly you can press control A to save the company and the system will take you directly to the company features screen where you can enable GST and here you can see the taxation part you can see the option known as enable goods and services tax yes you need to enable this feature for example if your company is already created and saved then just press f11 from the keyboard and just go back to the same feature that enable goods and services tax and enable it and here once again system is giving a chance to confirm the state that where you are from we are from the state of telangana and just confirm the same and here system is giving a chance whether we applied for gst and we have opted for regular or composition scheme right and if you want to Opt for regular tally application is going to convert your purchase and sales data into GSTR forms 1, 2, 3 applicable to regular taxpayers. And if you confirm as composition, then the tally application is going to convert your purchase and sales information into GSTR form number 4, which is applicable to be filed by a composition taxpayer on quarterly basis. So the reports generation based on the registration type that you are selecting right now. And here I'll be selecting as regular in order to generate GSTR form number one two three from tally application right and after that here this is a play that where you can confirm your gst identification number and also known as a unique identification number which is containing totally 15 digit okay out of 15 digit the first two digit will dictate your state code if you belongs to telangana then they are then your state code will be 36 if you belong to maharashtra then your state code will, would be around 27 if you belong to the state of karnataka then your state code would be 29 if you belongs to tamil Nadu, then your state code would be around 33 right so out of 15 digit uh, gst identification number the first two digits indicate your state code followed by 10 digit pan number 
then after that the 13th character can be alphanumeric and 14th character will be only z and 15th character can be alpha numeric okay just confirm your gst registration number which is having totally 15 digit right so just create a new company and press f11 and enable gst and confirm your gst registration details and after confirming the same you can just directly save the same by pressing ctrl plus a and that's it and again control plus a to save the whole features and that's it the company has been created with enabling gst right so in the next video we see how to record gst transactions in tally prime application right thank you